about to go to Powerhouse Pittsburgh. Heading out. I just got pumped AF in here and amp AF. Nothing crazy. Took some. Took some. Um, I took some. In 07 before this too. So still sell this. And uh, intro workout. I'm going to also take the 88 Bollock. So I'm going to go try to beat the traffic. It's rush hour. You know what time it is. So I'm going to see if I can get some footage when I get here. We out here. Had to park a little higher up. About to go down. Get in here. See what it's heading for. Get the guest pass. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. My hair definitely took off in the last year. You know what I'm saying? I wore this before and it was not, not how it is now. We're going to get here. I'm going to see what I can get for y'all. If I can get what I can get, we're going to get it on. You know what I'm saying? All right. So here I'm using... The hammer strength pullover machine. I really didn't want to. I was a little bit um, disappointed that they didn't have a Nautilus one. However, when I got on this, it felt like butter, man. Real good. So I'm not sure if the ones I've used in the past have just been terrible. Or if this one is designed slightly different. Something about it made me feel like it would feel a little bit different. It actually feel a little bit better when I looked at it. I'm not sure why. So maybe it's a later version. And slightly smaller. It always feels like they're the hammer strength ones are a little bit too wide for me, but this one felt good. Not only that, the tension on it felt nice. Felt real smooth. This is the first time I used one and I said, Oh, I see why a lot of these high intensity trainees use hammer strength now and they have no qualms about this pullover, unlike me. But now I know. And here's the front for facing pull down from hammer strength honestly the only reason i use this today is because i've been trying to make progress on this machine so every gym that i go to that has one i use it where i primarily have been training has this machine so yeah now i think that the pullover because I, I went a little bit heavier in weight too like it felt real good and smooth what people don't realize is when a machine feels good, a lot of times you can use more weight than you normally would. Plus, I haven't been regularly doing pullovers, so I'm used to being a little bit stronger on this exercise. See, I felt like a weird sharp pain there. I felt that pain a few other times during this session. I'm not trying to get a hernia. If you feel something wrong, stop the movement and do something else. And that's exactly what I did. Not do, I just lowered the weight. And then when I felt it again, I realized, okay, something's going on probably because i've been doing a lot of ab work and everything then i moved on but don't try to force the weight move on move on because when it's all said and done you're going to lose more gains if you get injured point blank period so yeah so basically i, I kind of wasted this movement i feel like because the movement after this, I feel like I could have done a little bit more. Or I could have switched it up. But it's alright. No regrets in this session. No regrets. One thing that probably would have made sense to tell you guys. Is that I switch arms when I get done. Just because there's a little thing called bilateral deficit. So you're a little weaker when you use both arms at a time. When you go unilateral, you get a few more reps in normally. So there's that. And here, I, was, I normally do the uh, the Gates row, the Dorian Gates row on the hammer strength. But with this, I realized I didn't have to use it. And it kind of hit that nice little lower meaty point part portion. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot speak. It hit that lower portion of the lap pretty well, actually, this machine. I thought this would feel a lot more like the low row from hammer strength, which hits up like the upper back and all that. That a lot of people seem to love. I strongly dislike that machine. This was pretty good. The way they did the bars. You can hit. Both those portions of the back. So they don't need two three machines. They only need the one machine. And you know what. I think I'm going to get this. I think I am going to try to get this. Not for the home. But for some other stuff that I'm trying to put together. I like how kind of rugged the handles look too. 
and the fact that they're a little bit narrow i feel i am of the belief and i believe there's some old data to demonstrate this that when the handles are narrower the bars are a little bit more narrow you have more muscle activation now the reason why i was kind of switching hands on that one well grips was just to see where it felt in the back i decided to go with that initial supinated grip and then when i get tired the narrow grip and it, it worked well for me if you hear that thunder there's a storm going on i just got home i just beat it this is also arsenal strength that was like the arsenal strength multi-grip bro I don't know what this is called. This is like an Arsenal Row pull down. Now, what I tried to do at the top, you see I turn my hands a certain way, is imitate the Nautilus torso arm. At least the angles that I believe that it has because I have not used it. Not the MedX version, well, earlier MedX version. The Nautilus low friction version. And it felt pretty good. That's why I, I wish I started with that and didn't do the front fit, the forward front facing pull downs but i did the front facing pull downs only for the sake of progressive overload that's the only reason i did that This machine um, felt a little heavy. Not gonna lie, felt a little heavy. It was a little awkward. It swivels, but it's not like the Body Masters one where it swivels and like it feels natural. It almost felt like I kind of had to make it swivel in a way. Like it was a little forced, it was a little sticky. So I wasn't a huge fan of it in that regard, but I did like it. And I used this to hit more like, you know, the upper back and the the rare delts you know trying to really build that up and of course the hoodie had to come off i was finally getting a little bit sweaty i didn't want to sweat unnecessarily and waste it this hawaiian punch that i've been carrying around i mixed it with my ada bollock which i took intro workout but i couldn't finish it i don't drink a lot when i work out it always messes with my stomach so <laughs> yeah there's that and like water anything i get I often get nauseous for a while in the summer I was doing it, I was able to manage it somehow, but it started coming back to haunt me. So yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, guys. I, I apologize, it's a little bit long. Gotta pause this, this. Okay, so this, like I said, I like it, but I'm not, I do prefer the body masters version it's funny because i considered maybe getting the body masters version and using the flex grips on it that i just showed you guys i wonder if that would be nice this is the reflex selectorized dorsey flexion machine basically you kind of like lay on this to perform the rowing movement it feels really good the only other machine that i have used that has lit up the entirety of my lats is the low friction compound row from nautilus from the the low friction line which i showed you guys in another video when i went to go visit life force fitness center new version from star trek what well now they rebranded rebadged their machine is nautilus it's not nautilus it sucks <laughs> It sucks. It's not like this at all. The hand, the angle on the handles is wrong. But you see, I use the top. When I fatigue, I use the bottom. Man, my lats were pumped. Yeah, I can feel the full fan of the lats. I'm like, dude, if I train lats here every freaking week with this machine, dude, I wonder what would happen. I wonder how much growth I can get. And I am looking forward to doing that. But I'm gonna go be. I'm gonna actually go visit a different gym for back day and do something a little bit different so i may not get to see that just yet but it's to the point and the footprint is appropriate enough that i'm like maybe i should get one of these like maybe i should literally get one and put it in my house 
because yeah but I want to use it a few more times before I get that crazy you'll notice this is the one time where during this workout I've actually had multiple sets recorded like I just left the camera running but yeah this felt pretty good this felt nice I was going to originally do the hammer strength row they have both versions here but this was sufficient like just for because I like to do like the low row like the, the Yates row and I like to do a row that will hit you know just like a standard row that hit like the, the, the flats generally if that makes sense this was that movement for me so when I train here this is definitely going to be what I'm going to use. I'm probably not going to do the front pull down. I didn't use the wide hammer strength pull down. I didn't record any of the sets. It hurt my wrist. It didn't really feel right. So I understand why most gyms do not have that. I didn't even record it. I forgot I even did it. I did two sets. Didn't like it. Wasn't a fan. Probably not going to use it again. So, yeah. Here we go. And as you can see, I'm I'm driving back with the elbows, but I'm using that scapular retraction. I am pulling through the lats. So you may not really see my biceps contract that much when people say, how do your biceps not contract when you're hitting back? If they are, I'm not feeling them because I'm starting to movement with a lat contraction and then driving the elbows back and pulling through the movement using my lats. A lot of times what people do is they pull through their arms so they get a crazy arm pump and they really don't feel it in their lats or they feel it a little bit in their lats and they wonder why their backs are two-dimensional but their arms are 3D. I kind of had this problem in the beginning like everybody else because I didn't really understand how to pull because how, why would you? Nobody in life pulls something strictly with their lats. Who knew? All right, after that success, using a reflex machine, they have a, they actually have a few flex machines. This is not reflex, flex. They actually have a few flex fitness machines. They have some reflex, that's why I said that. I use this, dude, this felt great. As in, I did not, usually when I use a reverse pec deck, I feel like I'm using a machine and I'm fighting it to pull it. Life fitness version, that kind of how I feel. Um, I do like the body solid version, but pretty much I feel like I'm, I can feel very much like I'm using a machine. This, it really just felt like I, 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 it's almost like I wasn't even holding the handles. I was just moving and feeling the contraction and it's great. That's why a lot of times when I work out, I do not do this exercise. I have a machine at home. I have a reverse pec deck. I never do that exercise. Never. Because I just it just doesn't agree with me. So this is only like the second one that I've used. And it doesn't even feel the same as the body solid version. The body solid, um, I forgot which line it is. It's a very specific one. Uh, what's it, the dual something? I don't know. Maybe I'll review it at some point. But this, I liked it. Would I buy it if I had the chance? No. But I liked it. And I would use it every time I was at the gym if like, you know, if I regularly trained here. The distance is just a little bit too great. That other gym I told you I was gonna go visit is a little bit closer to me. You can see that that bulk life is um doing me well here. Update right. on that. Psych. Leaving now, hopefully I saw some clips. <laughs> Alright. I just I didn't even necessarily get all the top sets. I got a few sets though. Well, I got one set, <laughs> one that kind of felt good. Some of them weren't all good. You know, somebody said that Arsenal is today is the first time I use any Arsenal equipment. Somebody told me that it was trash. I had heard that it was trash. 
arsenal definitely is not trash working on something so oddly enough been talking to somebody from our arsenal i think you guys know who it is if i told you guys who it was but there's a little bit of a hold up so more on that whenever it happens the hold up is not on my end the hold up's not on his end he actually is like right on it you know that's what i appreciate if you guys want to get some equipment i'm gonna tell you right now arsenal is definitely one of the places to go if you're trying to get like some commercial grade equipment as soon as i hit them up they hit me back the next day before anybody else did and they've been on me even even with the follow-ups and the updates so i appreciate them they are on their game they are not messing around and i basically had to tell them that the um that yeah we're just waiting because i ain't getting into all that anyways so it was great i got to use their little that little pull down you saw i probably talked about it in the video too now the pull down i liked it because i was able to set it up how i wanted to the handle swivel now y'all know i've been looking for a torso arm a knowledge torso arm low friction found one but it was way too far away for me to get still trying to figure out if there's a way for me to get it but this i was able to kind of simulate the same handle position and felt great if i get one for the house i definitely would get one but it's a little bit big so unless i move or something or just say screw it get rid of some stuff or take up just say i'm gonna take up the space regardless i'm probably not going to get one of those the hammer strain uh pullover was real smooth here i think it's because it has two belts the one i've been using i'm not sure if it has two belts or not the one that i've been using at the other place or if it's just because it's a little bit older I'm not sure why it wasn't as smooth as this one but this felt really great so i'm gonna have to update my opinion on the hammer strain pullover it's still not number one but it's not as far down the list as it was if that makes sense so yeah i'm getting ready to go home gotta drop some keys off for um some like you know work related make i got some other business i need to handle but yeah pittsburgh powerhouse man i hope you guys enjoyed it i may come back i gotta do some stuff tomorrow so i may come back here to train i'm in the north hills i'm going over to the south hills <laughs> so <laughs> they're not near each other at all but i may stop here on the way depending on how far the distance is between here and going home so we'll see how that works if so you guys may get some more footage in a different video i may just yeah because i'm not I'm, yeah yeah anyways thank you thank you guys for watching had a good time oh the flex the flex fitness cable dorsiflexion dorsiflex machine the little light uh road that y'all saw me using feels great phenomenal star trek is supposed to have the same designs they do not use them the star trek version is trash uh, i used that one at crunch fitness i don't think i got any footage of that the star trek version is trash compared to this one my whole lat was hit and fired up it, 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 honestly the only thing i've ever felt that was as good as that as the low friction uh compound row from the nautilus from nautilus so i may get one of those if i'm able to only only other machine that i've used that felt that great so flex is the truth even the flex uh fitness reverse fly that i use smooth great i use them all the time to handle swivel it as you use them look smooth i didn't i couldn't even tell it was a machine that was so smooth i don't know how they did it because it looks like any other machine but it, it, it was dope so no so definitely that first time you're using any flex fitness machines use knowledge double bicep machine with the head over head i'm gonna tell y'all about that in this video i'm gonna tell y'all about it when i compare it to the one i have at home also and arsenal was definitely better than i thought it would be and i'm glad that that's one of the lines we decided to go with in the end so not have a strength you can't go wrong with generally but i see why a lot of places got arsenal how you want to act